Good morning, everyone. Today's Thursday's Word Devotional, the 21st of March, 2024. We'd like to look at the journey. I'm sure we've we all look forward to certain journeys in our lives, um, a road trip, things that we have planned to see along the road trip, and our destinations. And sometimes some journeys are enjoyable and some are not so enjoyable. The Word of God gives us two precious promises. The first one is found in Psalm 119, verse 105. It reads, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The second one is in Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, we read, Now the Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land which I will show you. When God called Abraham, he asked him to leave his home, his family, and his land. Everything that was familiar to him, that was known to him. God did not tell him what the journey would be like. He simply told Abraham that he would be with him, and that he would give him a family, a land, and a home. When God calls us to follow Him, He does not tell us what our journey is going to be like. If He did, we might be too terrified to go. He wants our attention on Him, not on the way we will travel. He wants us to entrust ourselves completely and entirely to Him. God's way for us is seldom what we would have chosen, but when we trust Him and follow Him along unexpected ways and to unexpected places, we find as we look back that the ways and the places always fit. In 1904, William Borden graduated from a Chicago high school. As an heir to his family's fortune, he was already wealthy. For his high school graduation present, William Borden's parents gave their 16-year-old son a trip around the world. As the young man traveled through Asia, the Middle East and Europe, he felt a growing burden for the world's hurting people. Finally, Bill Borden, as he was known, wrote home about his desire to be a missionary. One friend expressed this belief that Bill was throwing himself away as a missionary. Upon his death, his friends found the following written in the back of his Bible, No reserve. That is how he began his walk with Jesus. The next line said, No retreat. That came from the middle of the battle. And the last Heading said, No regrets. And that is how he looked back on his walk with Jesus. No reserve, no retreat, no regrets. The life of faith is a spiritual journey. Each day we walk a little further along the path. And though we might be unsure of what lies ahead, we trust God to guide us through it. With each step, As you take on this journey, God offers you the opportunity to grow in godliness, to grow wiser, more compassionate, more trusting, to get to know Him better. You become increasingly aware of God's presence around you. You become increasingly sensitive to the Holy Spirit's voice inside you. And in one day, you notice that the tangled forests on your path seems somehow less dark than they used to be. 
The rugged mountains seem less steep, the wastelands seem less barren, the raging rivers seem less deep. But make no mistake, the, the world around you hasn't changed at all. But you have. The mind of Christ has grown stronger within you. If today you have gotten stuck in your journey, if you've lost your way, if you've given up on reaching your destination, why not take up your journey with a renewed commitment? Choose to see life with the mind of Christ. Philippians 2 verse 5. Let go of your past and be open to the future. Be prepared to move forward as the Holy Spirit leads you. Be ready and expectant of God's miracle working power in your life. My prayer for you for today, precious Heavenly Father, Lord God, I pray for each and every person reading this or listening to this today. Lord, touch their life again. Fill them again with your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Heavenly Father, refresh them on their journey. Give them new vision and vigor to complete their race that you've set in front of them. In Jesus' glorious and holy name. Stay blessed and journey with Jesus daily. God bless you. It's Pastor Bake for Laos Dio Ministries International.